The April Monthly Awards Players Lightning Card and Lightning Andre Dawson opens up on Thursday at noon Pacific. So in this video, we're going to be giving our predictions for who the cards are going to be as well as specifically the Lightning Card at the end of the program here in Diamond Dynasty. In the comment section, let me know your predictions. The guys that are getting cards, but most importantly, let me see that Lightning Card prediction. The best of the best card from april for this monthly awards program who's going to get it let me know in that comment section and i do want to make this clear to be able to unlock stage two to be able to unlock these cards you do need to collect every tops now card so there's going to be some more coming you earn all the other ones just by getting through the program doing these moments and you do need all of the tops now cards from this program from april to be able to advance to the actual monthly awards cards and the lightning cards including Lightning Andre Dawson. If y'all are looking for my lightning card prediction, it's going to be the last one that we talk about in this video, starting with all the other cards that are coming, at least that I'm predicting will be coming on Thursday. The first one that we have is going to be a starting pitcher. I have Kyle Wright. He had the highest war among qualified pitchers in April, who isn't a live series diamond. There's guys that are higher than him that already have diamonds in the game, but he had the highest war out of any pitcher that doesn't already have a live Live series diamond in the game he didn't allow any home runs i don't think in the month of april only 2.24 walks per nine 11.31 strikeouts per nine and then someone that i want to mention right now i'm going to have some honorable mentions at the end but while we're on the starting pitchers i'm not including carlos rodon i think he had a really good month but i just don't have him making it into my predictions now for our second prediction and this is in no specific order i'm just starting with pitchers and then going to hitters but this is in no order Order. I don't think these are going to be like the lowest diamonds or lowest cards in the program. This is just the order I'm going in. But we got Pablo Lopez. He allowed the least earned runs, had the lowest ERA in the month of April at 0.39. Second place was Logan Gilbert on the Mariners at 0.4. So they were literally just 0.01 away from each other. And then third place was the guy who we just talked about, Kyle Wright, at 1.13. Now I know ERA is not the end all be all. It's by far not the best stat to look at when trying to determine how a pitcher did but I feel like the fact that he's number one has the lowest and it's kind of by far besides Logan Gilbert I feel like that says something and we got Pablo Lopez 82 live series gold maybe getting like an 86 or an 87 diamond now I don't really know how I feel about this pick but we're throwing him in here in the video anyways we got Trevor Stevens Stefan I don't know how to pronounce names from the Guardians he had the second highest war from all the relievers in the month of April, only behind Josh Hader on the Brewers. And I don't see Josh Hader getting a card because of his live series. So the fact that he had the highest reliever war, hey, maybe he could get a card. He allowed zero earned runs, did not allow any runs, at least earned runs in 10 innings of work, did not allow any home runs, obviously no walks either. And then struck out about nine hitters per nine innings pitched. And then some other honorable mentions, I guess, for relief pitchers. If you're going to give them cards, maybe Matthew Festa, Jordan Romano, I believe from the Blue Jays. So I feel like there's a lot of guys, but I'm giving that reliever pick to Trevor Stefan, man, y'all need to help me pronounce his name in the comment section. And this is another pick, same with the last one. Honestly, all of my predictions, I, I really feel like they could happen, but also I wouldn't be surprised that they didn't happen. Same thing with Taylor Ward. And now he didn't technically have the highest OPS in the month of April. I think Mike Trout maybe did. Uh, but with that being said, he still did have a really high OPS. I just don't think he had enough ABs, but he had a decent amount of at-bats and had a really good month. And I can honestly see Taylor Ward kind of sneakily getting a card and then an honorable mention for outfielders right now, Jordan Alvarez. I feel like you could give him a card, but at the same time, if I were SDS, I would kind of wait to see if Jordan just keeps hitting. Maybe his live series will get upgraded or maybe he'll have a month where he deserves it, maybe more than he did in this one. Now, just for reference, a little bit Taylor Ward in the month of April 1.1 war 51 ABs 392 average five homers 13 RBIs 1284 OPS 278 OPS plus which I believe that's where the average is 100 so he had an insane month of April but just barely didn't qualify compared to somebody like Trout for that league lead in OPS right he was just barely missing being qualified with his at bats that he had but he did have 51 which I feel like is 
a pretty big sample size for an entire month. Now, if I could only pick one person in these predictions where I feel like they are an absolute lock, I would actually probably bet money on it that they would get a card in some capacity. I feel like that guy honestly might be Eric Hosmer. He hit 389 in the month of April. I think that led everybody in the MLB. Second place, Manny Machado at 386. Nolan Arenado, third place at 375. So I feel like he's in good company. I don't know if he has any other card besides his live series right now. If he doesn't, then I feel like he's really deserving of a card in some capacity after leading the league in batting average for the month of April. I know there's better statistics sometimes to measure success, especially at the plate, but with how Hosmer kind of declined from his peak of his career in Kansas City, I feel like this was a good bounce back month. And if I were SDS, I would give him a card. Now, this is not my lightning pick. That's coming right after this one. But with that being said, I could easily see Anthony Rizzo getting the lightning card. He had nine home runs in the month of April, leading the entire MLB, 21 RBIs, four doubles, the fourth highest slugging percentage behind Jose Ramirez, Mike Trout, Nolan Arenado. I don't think any of those three guys are getting cards because they're all 90 or higher on their live series. So Rizzo with nine homers, the fourth highest slugging behind those three guys. I feel like he could easily get that lightning card. I would not be surprised if he did. I'm not giving it to him, but I feel like he easily could get a card, whether it's the lightning or another one. He had an insane month. And if he does get that lightning or he does get a card, I would love to use them, man. I love Anthony Rizzo cards, and it's going to be better than this live series we're seeing right here. So I'm very interested to see if he does get a card, if it's the Lightning, if it's not, what is the overall looking like? But I feel like Anthony Rizzo had a very good month of April and deserves a card. Whether he gets one, that's a whole nother story. Now, before we get to my Lightning card prediction to end the video, I just want to give some honorable mentions, right? Manny Machado. He was my lightning pick to start this video when I was making my predictions originally, but then I talked myself out of it. But Manny Machado had the highest war in the month of April, okay? And a lot of times it seems like they give that person who had the highest war the lightning card. So I would not be surprised if Manny Machado does get the lightning card, but if he doesn't get the lightning card and I'm not predicting him to, I don't think he gets a card at all just because his live series is already 88 overall, but he had an insane month, but because he's continuing to hit and continued after that last, last roster update, I'm pretty sure. I feel like Manny Machado has a chance on his own to get 90 or higher through roster updates on that live series card. So if I were SDS, I would probably just hold off on Machado, see how his season goes and give that lightning card to somebody else since his live series is already in 88. But with that being said, I feel like I had to mention Machado, even though I'm not including him in the predictions and then other honorable mentions that I don't think I'm going to be including in the predictions at all since we only have one more are Jazz Chisholm, Wander Franco, J.B. Crawford, Tommy Edmond, Ty France, uh, Shane McClanahan, uh, I think Carlos Rodon we might have mentioned earlier, uh, Jordan Alvarez. I just feel like there's so many guys. Nolan Arenado, Mike Trout, obviously, Jose Ramirez, right, that are already high diamonds, but there's so many guys that had good months and it was just way too hard for me to pick, you know, seven, eight, nine guys that I think would actually get cards. And then now let's talk about my lightning prediction. And here is my lightning card prediction. The best card in the monthly awards program. I'm going with a pitcher, Kevin Gosman, and I have some reasoning. If it's not a pitcher for the lightning card, I think it's either going to be Anthony Rizzo or Manny Machado. Those are my predictions. I feel like Rizzo's more likely than Machado just because... Machado's already an 88 on his live series, but the lightning card I feel like is going to be solid like 92, 93, 94, maybe even a 95. So it's really hard to say. I'm going with Kevin Gosman. He had the highest war among pitchers in the month of April, did not allow any home runs, did not allow any walks in the month of April as a starting pitcher. I feel like that's insane. Also struck out 31 batters, which comes out to 11.31 strikeouts per nine innings. So I feel like if any starting pitcher is deserving, it's going to be Kevin Gosman. Honorable mentions that we talked about in this video, Kyle Wright, Pablo Lopez. Uh, there's other guys that can maybe get a card like Shaggy McClanahan that was a really good pitcher. But for my lightning guy, I'm going Kevin Gosman, and I really feel like my biggest reasoning behind this pick 
is the fact that we don't have a lot of really good right-handed starting pitching in the game now i don't know what his monthly awards card would look like i feel like the hits per nine would have to be insane obviously the walks per nine and home runs per nine and everything like that k per nine would be solid but if they're gonna make him a card that people want they need to get that hits per nine up i don't know they could really do much of the velocity but i feel like that hits per nine is where they would really make or break the card and if they're not giving him like 110 or higher hits per nine for that monthly awards card I feel like they might as well give it to somebody like Manny Machado, Anthony Rizzo, or someone else. Because if they're not doing that, I feel like people are going to say it's an L and they're not going to want to use him because he doesn't have great velo. He doesn't have the best pitch selection. The hits per nine is where I feel like someone like Kevin Gosman is really going to shine on a lightning card. I think that's going to wrap up my predictions video. I can't wait to see y'all's predictions down in that comment section. As always, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace out.